The impressive Wawao continued his dominance over his rivals, winning the 15th running of the cashpot. The cashpot only won for me trophy over six furlongs that came in a spark today. The race serves as the opening leg of the Supreme Ventures two-year-old series. On the back of three wins by large margins, the punters made the Gera Sobrati trained Wow Wow the one to nine favorite. And the fleet footed Bay Colt with Ameth Robles astride never disappointed from start to finish. But they're into the lane and uh, Wow Wow continues to pour it on. 3 16th remaining. Robles putting the stick away. He has a peep in his mirrors and now a crack or two of it. And Wow Wow maintains a huge lead. Cash is king now. They're battling for second. Versatile vision is on the rail. Tomahawk has moved back on the outside and another commander has faded. But this is the 15th running of the cash pot. Only one for me trophy and Wow Wow romps it. He wins by maybe 10. Tomahawk is second. Cash is king third. Versatile vision is fourth. With Wow Wow winning by eighth lengths, posting one minute 12 and three fifths for the distance, trainer Sobrati says things are looking good for the remainder of the series. These are special horses. One of the best horses I've ever trained. Um, it wasn't, it, I wasn't, you know, pushing him to, for this race too much. I just, you know, wanted him to get the race and get, up, you know, learn from the race. I'm, I'm just using the races to bring him on, trying to teach him to relax a little. Um, you know, let, you know, we have some distance races coming up shortly, so you know, let's see how him take the, the training and move on from here. The win gave Michael Bernard a one million dollar lead ahead of Carlton Watson in the battle for the owner's trophy. As he continues to win, uh -huh. purses are added together, and whatever that takes us, I'll be happy. I just want to see him continue in a healthy state and to deliver on the promise that he has given to us uh, so far. So that's really what I'm looking for. The consistent Lady Blue from the barn of Wind Acosta easily won the $1 million purse in the overnight allowance race going five furlongs round. Battling over against the rail and Nassau will be asked to kick in just wide toward the extreme outside that is Corazon but it's Lady Blue with the lead with a furlong to run. Corazon now begins to make ground and Nassau is right there too but Lady Blue leads by more than a length and a half inside the final 16th. It's Lady Blue and Omar Walker. Corazon coming late. Lady Blue wins it a double for Walker. Corazon second and Nassau third. Lady Blue who dropped down in class posted 59 and one fifth to win by a length and a half. But she's been a game filly all her career. Even two year old she had had her problems. She came as a three year old. She ran beautiful early season. The problems took her and we've managed to keep her sound for the, for the rest of the career so far. So, so far she's good. T today she was extremely sound and we thought she had an excellent chance of winning. Owner Watson collected $650,000 for the win to trail Bernard by four hundred and fifty. dollars Yeah, most definitely. We both have a lot of artists running, and I think we're going to go to the 31st of December. Keon Rihanna reporting for TVJ Sports.